Ephesians 5.23, the Bible clearly says he's the savior of those in his body, the church. So if you're not in the church of Christ, he is not your savior. Because I know there's so many churches out here these days. So people are so confused. They're like, oh, man, I don't even know which church to go to because each church is just different. At the end of the day, you know what? I'm just going to worship God at home with my Bible. And that's sad because the truth is Christ is not the savior of persons or individuals, individual people in their homes. Christ is the savior of his body, the church. If you are not a member of the church, he is not your savior in the Bible. Christ is not the savior of you if you are not part of his body. That means his church. So what do we have today? More than one church, in other words. A group of people forming a small group or body within a larger body. The fact that it says a larger body means you know, there are smaller bodies, which would mean that there is more than one body now being talked about here. It's a group of people forming smaller groups or smaller bodies within this larger body. And the larger body in this sense would be Christianity now. Ephesians 4 verse 4 it says there is one body and the Bible just doesn't teach that. There cannot be a larger one. There cannot be a smaller one. This is what Christian denominations are. So the fact that it says it's a distinct religious body or a different religious body means that it's more than one. If there's a different one, it means there's also another one. Identified by traits such as the name of the church, the history, the organization, the leadership, the doctrine, what's being taught for salvation, the worship style, and sometimes the founder. So you can identify what denomination it is or what church this is. And so these many different churches can be identified by the name, the, the how, what's going on in the church. That's how you can identify what church it is. And that's how we can also identify if it's the church of the Bible or not. We just basically compare certain things from the Bible with that church. But some things that's going on in that church does not go according to the Bible. That's how we can know it's not the church of the New Testament. This idea that more than one church is okay is not okay with God. These churches are not from God. Only one church is true in the Bible. Is the church of Christ the denomination? No. A denomination means that you broke away from that to start a new church. Now the church of Christ is not a new church. It's the first and the only church that the Bible talks about. Jesus does not change. He's still the same. When it comes, what's true in the Bible is still going to be true with Jesus. The rule of faith in Christ is 1 Corinthians 4 verse 6. We don't think or go beyond what is written. We only go with what is written in the Bible. What's the will of the Father in heaven? It's the Bible. You have to make sure that whatever you are believing for is from the Bible. Many people will be shocked on Judgment Day. Millions and billions of people around the world go to a church of their choice instead of the church of the Bible.